What's up YouTube? This is Grant and this is Morse Reacts. And for today's episode, we are going to be reacting to All Time Low, Once in a Lifetime. Uh, it actually just dropped this afternoon um, around 4 o'clock. So, first time listening to it, never seen the music video. Let's get right into it. Once in a okay. I like the lighting. It's very well lit, which is good. Before we get to the chorus, I just want to say that, uh, you know, All Time Low is one of those bands that I've been listening to for, gosh, now, 17-ish years, um, since I was in middle school. Uh, and one thing that I've always didn't necessarily like about All Time Low was they liked to use a lot of filters on their audio. And Alex Gath Gasgarth, is Gasgarth is too good to... Uh, constantly be using these filters on their vocals um but it just could have been a first first thing so So what I'm picking up from the the song title is that, um, you know, it's a guy and a woman, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to maybe, you know, fall in love or um, if it's not having to do anything with love, it's, it could just be, you know, you're in this moment, you know, you're not going to have another moment like that for the rest of your life. And if you do, you're very lucky. So I'm assuming it has something to do with, you know, living in the moment and just loving what's going on in front of you and enjoying it to them as much as you possibly can Wait, wait. One thing I've noticed is that one of the band members that was on the last album is not in this music video. Um, for this last album they had last uh, May, uh, Wake Up Sunshine, which is arguably their best album they ever made from start to beginning, or beginning to end, um, in my opinion anyways. Uh, most people will say So Wrong It's Right is the best album they ever had or The Party Scene, which was like the first two albums when they uh, first came out. But I thought Wake Up Sunshine was the best album they've ever made. Um, hands down, just it was just a very good time uh, listening to that album. It could have been the quarantine. It could have been just, you know, un uncertain of the future. Um, and that album really actually helped me get through some tough times during... The beginning of covid last year so um i just don't know why they wouldn't have him in here you know he they had some songs of theirs that they performed live and he had a really good voice um i, I actually really wanted him to be utilized more um because i had never seen him before in any songs and music videos so i couldn't find any information on who him was who it was but yeah that was just a little side note that that guy is not there, and not unless you're a big All Time Low fan, you won't know that. <laughs> I am, so yeah, I I, I, I kind of recognize that. Be 
before we get to the bridge, which I'm assuming is right now, right now, uh, all time low has always been really good in bridges. Um, they're my favorite part to the song. I mean, most people love bridges because that's kind of like where the excitement comes from and everyone kind of gets going from there. So let's just, let's get ready. Hope to God that it's good. Love the drums right there. <laughs> Well, that's the once in a lifetime official music video from All Time Low. Um, initial thoughts: good music video. Um, you know, it's it wasn't low budget at all. I think they spent a lot of time on that. Um, a lot of money. Very well lighting. Very good lighting, rather. Um, I liked the blue lights, the purple lights that were in the in the last scene here. Like this, I love this lighting. Um, as you can tell, but the, with the light behind me. I'm all about like lights like that. Very bright, but not bright at the same time. I don't know. It's all about vibes. And that's got a good vibe written all over it. Um, as far as the song goes itself, another one of all time low summer smash type songs um, that's mo meant to be about having a good time and just letting loose and, I mean, maybe being a kid or, you know, acting childish and young and youthful and all of that but it's a good song out of 10 I'd probably give it a solid seven only because i just didn't think the vocals were as strong from alex um and that's not saying much because alex is one of the greatest singers in my opinion in this in this like this area of music this genre of music um but i was like i said i've also been listening to him since i was like 13 so I'll take that with a grain of salt um like I said seven out of ten. Um, I think it could have been a little bit better. I, I do. It is missing a little bit of a bridge. Um, it kind of just sang again the same thing he had been saying the entire time. The chorus just with a different little little twist on it. Um, so yeah, if, if if they had a better verse or a better chord uh, bridge, I probably would have gave it a nine. Um, is not on the level of Dear Maria, Count Me In. <laughs> hey mom, it was never a phase. It was a lifestyle. I had to do. I'm sorry. Um, well, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you like this video, uh, reach out to me and say, is there anything that you, if there's anything you want me to react to, just let me know. And, um, I'll make sure to get on that. Sorry. It's been like a week or so before I, since I've released a video, um, a little bit of laziness and a little bit of life. Um, so yeah. And, um, uh, Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.